Hi guys, this is Dr. Brian Off from Op Family Chiropractic right here in St. Francis. And the big thing in the news over the last few months has been the rising cost of pharmaceutical drugs and especially insulin for diabetics. We're gonna talk specifically about type two diabetes and the reason why you might wanna give somebody insulin or not give somebody insulin it really becomes an issue that this person is insulin resistant. So I have a hard time with giving somebody who already is producing insulin even more insulin on top of it. It's like putting a Band-Aid on the problem, right? So we'd, run, we'd wanna make that person more insulin sensitive if we are gonna do it the right way. So it's said that the average citizen eats about 150 pounds of sugar each day, or each year, I should say. So we're obviously not nourishing our body with the right types of things. We get these big swings in blood sugar leading to that type two diabetes. So what do we need to do? Well, we need to start reducing our stress because stress will play a big role in increasing, increasing our insulin levels and our glucose levels to feed the muscles. But if you're stressing and you're sitting in your car, same thing happens. It's not feeding anything, any of those actions that you need to do. Nutrient deficiency is huge. Obviously, if you're eating 150 pounds of sugar each year, you're probably not nourishing your body with fruits and vegetables. And lastly, we need to start to really build some muscle mass in our bodies. So the things that we often tell our patients they need to increase is increase protein in their diet, eat more often, at least every two hours, small meals, because that helps keep that blood sugar level. Studies show that if you even have a high blood sugar and it stays level, you actually will live longer than having sugar, blood sugar levels go up and down. Uh, improving the health of the gut, because if you're feeding it sugar, you're definitely feeding the wrong types of bacteria and that'll throw off the insulin. Uh, increasing fiber to 25 to 30 grams each day is super important because that feeds those good bugs as well and improves the health of the gut. And lastly, like we talked about, reducing that stress. So finding different ways, whether you're going for a walk, doing yoga, meditating, whatever it is, that's been shown to improve insulin sensitivity in people. So these are some great ways that you can do right away at home to help with that type two diabetes. This is Dr. Brian Opp from Opp Family Chiropractic. I hope you enjoyed this video.